right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Mr. Arcard and... Confidential Report, just two on the Criterion Collection. Collection. <laughs> um, set in Cold War Europe, the cinematic saga of Mr. Arcade and directed by and starring Orson Welles regards an amnesiac billionaire who hires an American U.S. adventurer, Robert Arden, <clears throat> whose character was called uh, uh, Harry Lyme. In the prequel ra radio series, also voiced by Orson Welles, <clears throat> as a precursor to the Thin Man. This came from the uh, Mystery Man episode of The Lives of Harry Lime, which was called something else in the U in Europe. The Lives of Harry Lime. It was called The Adventures of Harry Lime. Broadcast in the U.S. as the Lives of Harry Lime. I just listened to three episodes on the first disc. Okay. Robert Arden is the actor's name. Uh, Orson Welles plays Harry Lime in the radio show to investigate his mysterious past of Mr. Arcaden. Post-production, Wells was banned from the editing room, and thus at least five known versions of the film exist. I misspoke in my last video. I made a mistake. There are only nine versions, not 11. I was doing fuzzy math there. Sorry about that. This release contains the version known as the Confidential Report, the official 1956 European cut finished by producer Louis... Dolivate. <clears throat> the date on the uh, on the Netflix DVD envelope is funky because it says 1956 European cut. This says 1962, which is the date of the. Corinth version, which I fixed on my last video, I put 1955 by mistake. It wasn't discovered until 1961 by Peter Bogdanovich. The Corinth version, 1999 minutes, is named after Corinth Films. The initial U.S. distributor of the film until the 2006 re-edit, it was believed to be the closest version to Will's conception. Um, Peter Bogdanovich discovered its existence in 1961 and secured its first U.S. release in 1962, seven years after alternate versions of the film were released in Europe. I'm giving it five out of five stars. I thought this movie was a lot cleaner. Uh, the Criterion edit is actually 2006, which I have. That is disc three. All right. Confidential Report, eight minutes, the most common European release print of Mr. Arcaden. Premiered in London in August 1955. <clears throat> Netflix DVD envelope says 1956 or 1962. I'm going with 1955, which is correct for this video, not correct for the <laughs> previous video that I did, but I did make the correction on my previous video. Differences to this version include off-screen narration from Van Stratton, who was Harry Lime, 
in the radio series, uh, Man of Mystery, I think it was called. Rosenbaum speculates that the editing of this version was based on an early draft of Wells' screenplay, as its exposition is far simpler than that of the Corinth version. The Corinth version is like a bad nightmare. It's very, very choppy editing, and um, I could sort of get the the dialogue in this one. I don't know if it, it's because I watched it the second time, or uh, or it was just a cleaner cut, but uh, or maybe both. Anyways, it was. Um, It just seems to, to have a logical sequence going, <laughs> unlike the Corinth version. But I like both. I think I like the Corinth version better. I posted the link to the Confidential Report version, and I'm about to uh, to watch the 2006 re-edit after I watch another bonus feature on disc two. Um. So I posted links to my last, to the six videos that aren't appearing in my, in the video section of my channel for some unknown reason. I guess that's what uh, Professor Quiz is concerned about. So I, uh, I sent him the links and I got thumbs up on all of them. I'm hoping that's Professor Quiz He's putting his thumbs up. Uh, Karate Man recommended uh, Predator 2, which I added to my Netflix queue. And uh, I asked YouTube for help to uh, um, give me a solution for the notification bell <coughs> that Professor Quiz is having issues with. And I haven't gotten a response. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I figured out why I've got all these heat rash. Uh, all over my body. It's because I ran out of the uh, red line energy drink. And then when I went back on it, my body was sweating profusely and wasn't used to uh, to all that sweat. And so uh, it's going to take a while for my body to get used to uh, the red line energy drink, but I do have uh, nine bottles left. That'll last me through Monday. Then I got to order it again. I'll, I'll try to go to the uh, Shell gas station in Tamfran and the uh, vitamin shop in Coma to see if they have it in stock by the. <clears throat> They're getting sued, and uh, there's some su supply chain issue with Redline. So, uh, I don't know. This is the uh, the side effect of Redline. Profuse sweating and heat rash. <laughs> That's going to take my, a while for my body to get used to it. So... Um, let me tell you what's coming down the pike on Netflix. Seems like Karate Man is the only one that, who doesn't have issues with my channel. Both Adrian and Professor Quiz have issues finding my videos. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I wish I had a solution. <laughs> All right. So we've been the confidential report version from 1955. Five out of five stars. Highly recommended. Check it out. <clears throat> Making homemade pizza. I'll show you <laughs> the mess I've made with. <laughs> I thought I was going to make this for my son, but uh, got a little messy. <laughs> That's the. Extra lost pizza. <laughs> and then um, 
And now I've got one without sauce. I forgot that I had to oil the pan and, and heat it for 15 minutes in the oven. Before I put the pizza on it. But if I put make the pizza and leave it on the counter, it's going to be a mess. So I think I'm going to heat up the uh, the pan with the oil on it. <clears throat> Take it out of the oven. Put the uh, the pizza dough on the pan and start building the pizza and put it back in real quick. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that works. It's a challenge, but I think I can do it. All right. So next week I've got uh, Pittsburgh. <clears throat> John Wayne. And then I've got uh, the conqueror, John Wayne. John Wayne plays uh, Genghis Khan. Is that the one where they uh, they filmed it in Nevada and everybody got cancer from the radiation fallout? <laughs> so I'm going to get that double feature next week. Pittsburgh and the Conqueror. A couple John Wayne flicks. Then I've got Spine Tingler, the William Castle story, 2007. And Corman's World, Exploits of a Hollywood Rebel, 2011. Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a 1942 film. The Conqueror. The Conqueror is a 1956 film. So there's that. Uh, another Netflix DVD under my belt. I'm ready to watch the comprehensive version. The 2006 Criterion edit. I'm going to have to put 2006 as a date for this one. Uh, all right. Well, that's the end of my review. Highly recommended. Check it out. Laters.